I'm Hayden. And together we are Three, Three Reds, Reds Read. Read. And on this channel, we read books to kids. Today, I'm going to be reading Halfway Herbert by Francis Chan, illustrated by Matt Denell. Herbert Holloway was seven and a half years old, three and a half feet tall, and fifty-five and a half pounds heavy. He had lots of friends, but none of them called him Herbert. Instead, everyone called him Halfway Herbert. This was not because his house was halfway in California. It was not because his dog was half bulldog and half poodle. Sadly, it was because Halfway Herbert did everything halfway. Halfway Herbert never put his whole heart into anything. He, re he never really tried. Something was missing in Halfway Herbert. When Herbert brushed his teeth, he started on the top, but he was too lazy to finish the bottom. He spent a lot of time at the dentist. It's really nasty. You never get your teeth like that. The holes and greens and never mind. It's disgusting. Alright. At school, Herbert did only half of his homework and answered only half of the questions on his test. He learned one only half of what he really needed to know. Got an, got an F on that assignment. So sad. Herbert ne never finished his meals, so he uh, was always hungry halfway between lunch and dinner. He woke up hungry halfway through the night. Herbert was really tired from getting only half the food rest he needed. And when Herbert played soccer, he listened to only half of what his coach told him. He really tried during only half of the game. Herbert would have had more fun if he played with his whole heart. His team would have been happier too. One day, when Herbert went out to play, he tied the laces only on one shoe. He walked halfway up the big hill, hopped on his bike, and started pedaling. He was going faster and faster when his shoelace got caught in the wheel. Herbert crashed straight into his dad's car. His bike was bent up, his leg was hurt, and he and his dad's car was dented in. Herbert knew he had made a big mistake. When Herbert's dad saw the dent in his car, he asked Herbert, Do you know what happened to happened to my car? Herbert didn't want to lie, but he didn't want to want to get in trouble either. So he said, I didn't see anyone crash into your car, but it was only half of the truth. Then the phone rang. I was just calling to ask if Herbert was all right, said Mrs. Mr. Rugg, Herbert's next door neighbor. I saw him crash his bike into your car this morning, and I thought he might have, might have gotten hurt. Herbert tried to explain. I said I didn't see anyone crash into your car, and it's th and that's true. I had my eyes closed. Herbert, you tricked me, his, um, his dad said, sadly. Only telling half the truth is a whole lie, and living your life just halfway isn't okay either. Jesus doesn't want us to love him halfway. God doesn't want us to live out of just half of our hearts. He tells us this in the Bible. Jesus told his friends about a man who started building a tower. Before he started to make started, he made sure he had enough money to build it. He made sure the tower was strong, it would stand for a long time. He didn't want to be teased for his work, and he wanted others to know that he was a hard worker. This man didn't try halfway with his tower, 
and we shouldn't follow Jesus halfway either. He deserves our whole hearts and our total devotion. But I've never been able to do things all the way, Her Herbert cried. Uh, God knows that none of us can love him all the way by ourselves. So he gave us a friend called the Holy Spirit to help us live out our whole hearts. Herbert's dad said, When we decide to follow Jesus all the way, God's Spirit fills up our hearts and helps us obey God. Can God's Spirit help me? Herbert asked. Yes, his dad answered. God loves when we ask for his help. So Herbert prayed, Jesus, I'm sorry, I haven't obeyed you. I want to follow you, but I don't want to follow you halfway. I need your help. Please give me your spirit so I can know how to follow you. God answers, answered Herbert's prayer. Now he finishes things. He ties both of his shoes, eats all of his lunch, and listens to everything his teacher and coach tells him. He also tries to obey what he reads in the Bible. He isn't perfect, but God's Spirit helps him. Herbert was never, has never been happier, and no one calls him halfway Herbert anymore. Matthew twenty-two thirty-seven. Love the Lord with, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. The end. Again, this is Halfway Herbert by Francis Chan, illustrated, illustrated by Matt Danielle. Make sure to subscribe, like, and hit the bell. I'm Maddie. I'm Erin. I'm Hayden. And we are Three Reds Read. Let's go!